Evan, and I've got a really fun video about using Reason 11 in Logic 10.5. This is the most recent version of Logic that just added a host of new features, including live loops, which allows you to perform and play back songs in a non-linear way. So in this video, I'm gonna jam out a little bit on that and teach you how you can get started doing it. Um, there's some unique things about using the Reason plugin here that I want to point out for you. So let's just take a listen at this simple loop here that I've got, um, and we'll add to it a little bit, and then I'll show you some of the fun stuff you can do by using your iPad or your iPhone to control things, which is really, I think, where this excels. So, by the way, if you're new to Reason, I've got a cheat sheet that'll show you all of the best tools, instruments, effects, utilities in Reason. Go download it at the link below. It will greatly speed up how quickly you can learn and master Reason. It's just uh, chords here. I'm gonna put a ba uh, bass loop here, which is a matrix that I drag the notes to on. And then we've got a drum pattern here, which was done using Rhythmic. Uh, the Reason drum sequencer and MIDI effects to capture it. And then part two is, I haven't done the bass part yet, which I want to show you. And also we've mixed up the parts a little bit. What do you think so far about live loops? Have you used it yet? Do you wish Reason had a feature like this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So the first thing to do is I want to show you how you can get your Dr. Rex loops in here. So to grab a Rex loop and put it onto a track, you simply click on this little musical note here at the bottom of the Rex and drag it onto one of these cells here, like this. Now, one thing you need to note is that it doesn't actually control which of these instruments is slotted in here. I will experiment on how to do it but right now you're only dragging the pattern, but it will play whatever instrument is selected. So like, let's say, let me just show you, for example. Right now we're playing the orange one, the one that's hit, highlighted. Now we're playing a totally different series of samples and different pattern. What I've done here though, is I'm using this, this first loop here but I'm using different patterns that I've dragged onto it. And once you drag it on, you need to make sure to enable, to disable loop playback, otherwise it will keep playing when you hit, regardless of what you do. So that's the first step. That's how I got the Rex loops on there. Um, and we'll add another one just for kicks. We'll go here. I'm gonna hit Control or Apple Option Command, whatever, ask to create a new Reason Rack. We'll do a new Dr. Rex loop. And this time we'll just do a percussion loop. Bongos, sure. Just so it fits a little better, and we'll put a high pass filter. Get rid of some of that low end. And now let's drag this right here. But we gotta be sure to enable, disable loop play. So now, if we were to play this first section here. So there, that's how you would add a drum, uh, a Rex loop to it. Now we've got this second part here, which doesn't have a bass line. So I wanna do that. You can do it by programming it in, in on the matrix, but instead I wanna show you how you could click on this cell and we'll create a MIDI cell. And now, I'm gonna select this channel. And we can just draw in notes if we want.
So that's one way you can do it. You can also play it in by keyboard if you want, or use the matrix. And with the matrix, it would be similar. You would drag what you've programmed in over to that set and then disable pattern mode. Now here, uh, this is something I do need to show you because this is different here. Um, to get your drum synth or any player, actually let's create one new instrument with a player first. That'll show you it from scratch. So I've already made a video on how to record the Reason plugin player MIDI output into Logic and that's basically what you do here but there's an extra step. So first we need to go to audio units and go to Reason Studios and we'll do the Reason Rack plugin and here we're going to get a player. And the one I want to get is the, let's do Euclidean Rhythms, sure. This one's fun enough. And then we have to get a instrument here. Oops, we are, we've got an instrument already. Uh, and we'll just do a clang. We got some bells. Um, and so now let's go to this section here. And so that gating is coming from the Euclidean rhythm. If it was turned off, it would just be me hitting a chord once. And we'll go down and lock it. And this is nowhere near the right sound. So let's change this real quick to a, sure. And wire it out to channel one. Cool. All right, so now let's turn this guy back on. That's not really, we should, have, we, we should go with a house piano. Um, that's really what I meant, but I thought that might have been a funky way of doing it. It's not. Let's just go with. Radical, man. All right, where's the, there's a bunch of stuff, but um, Swedish drop piano, sure. Okay, so that's what we want to go with. And so if I hit record, it's just gonna record me pressing the notes down. So now if I go and edit it, right, you've just got me hitting these two chords and we'll quantize them for Good luck. But if I turn off MIDI effects, we're only gonna hear it once. So we do that. But now we don't have the inf actual data recorded. So if we wanted to play another part, it wouldn't match up. In order to copy this data, we have to also download a free plugin called MIDI Effects Freeze and put it after the reason player and then we have to record that information and we can't do this in loop view we have to do this in the sequencer view i don't know if this is a bug or if this is the way it just ultimately works out so we hit record and now we get this little midi data here we take this oops paste it onto our track and now you see you actually have the piano being played off, and if we were to turn off MIDI effects, freeze, and this, we're actually not playing it from, uh, and then we go back to the loop section, we can delete this loop, and drag this in, and now this becomes the loop. So if we play this back, we can delete this, 
and then let's say we want to do one more drum pattern here. Uh, oh, yeah, let's do one more drum pattern for giggles. Um, we can actually create a pattern, so which is a built-in drum sequencer here, mapped C1 or C2 to um, and up. But unfortunately, the notes on Reason um, rhythmic are probably C1 or C. Yeah, so you have to would have to bring everything down um, a few notes, but. Oops, not negative one. Don't want that. D1. So now if we were to go like this, for example, and this actually should be C sharp negative, or C sharp one, sorry. So if we put, right, so let's draw this pattern in. And we can do velocity things. Um, I go in here, adjusting the velocity of this one, um, and add in, now you're going to be D1, and are you the closed hi hat? Uh, that's one would expect. On the downbeat, and we'll add a open hi hat too, for good measure. And so now if we just hit play here, and then we can mute some of the sections if we want, turn them on and off. All right. Now I'm gonna show you the coolest part. Like you can control this all with your iPad and turn cells on and off. So like, unfortunately it's not, you're not gonna be able to see this, but like, I can just touch the section, and now it starts. And I can stop it from here, which is just incredible integration. But there's also a bunch of, like, X, Y filters and repeaters, and all sorts of effects that you can put on there. Like, uh, reverse, and record stops, and also wobblers, or whatever you would want to call it. So I'm just going to do that for a second, show you some of the full power of using Reason combined with logic. Do a uh, reverb. There's just a lot of possibilities here. Um, So, yeah, I, you know, I don't think this is quite fully realized live loops, but it's a really cool feature. I wish Reason would, uh, Reason Studios would even take half of the ambitious leap that uh, Logic uh, rolled out here with their most recent update, adding new samplers, which were long overdue, uh, adding this pattern sequencer, which is Good, but I actually think the Reason drum sequencer is better than this. The only real advantage here is that it's tied into the uh, structure of the song, which is pretty helpful. Um, 
just deep integration with an iPad. Obviously, Apple's always going to win that game. Um, but also the live loops, which even in its rudimentary form is really fun and powerful and creative. And I also think that it plays nicely with a lot of the tools you have in Reason. So I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to get started using Reason with live loops in Logic. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.